Where are we now? We live in a world where escapism is the norm. Why do you ask? It's really quite simple. People are overwhelmed, processing things that go against the organism's will. A constant state of stress. I would even go as far to say distress. People have forgotten how to love. People in the discord of frantic nervousness and anxiety have replaced the natural order of things with something that the body can cope with. Escapism. That's a natural reaction of the organism in a fight or flight scenario. We have television. We have shitty music. We have sports. We have global events that boggle the imagination. We have avid gamers playing in surreal and often violent dimensions of reality which we call virtual. There is nothing virtual about any of this. It is a reality redefined. We are to believe that this more aptly titled virtual environment would have no effect on the corporeal one, but this is not the case. They are deeply intertwined on several levels. To interpret and interact with any environment, an input-output device needs to be configured. By the hands of intelligent design, we are input-output devices in the most literal and basic of functionality. The same can be said for our computing devices which we literally created and have adopted as a symbiotic partner in this new world order. As much as we believe that we independently move in and out of this virtual world, it's quite opposite. This virtual world is more wrapped around and interfaced with every single aspect of every single movement we make, person we converse with, thought we publish, feeling we express. It allows us to interact in a digital pond where the ripples are forever moving outward, never disappearing, never dying, intersecting with other ripples, events, and always feeding that all but artificial reality. As you are willingly feeding this reality, it stores and manages your thoughts for you, remembers your phone numbers, remembers your family members' birthdays, tracks your physical movements, tracks your digital movements, tracks your stats, tells you when you need more data on your plan, tells you when to pay your bills. It remembers more and more to the point where you remember less and less making room for more suitable program code to be inserted into your wetware brain. Making room for more silly reality TV shows, cat pictures and videos of people hurting themselves in front of the camera because that shit is really funny. This was the plan since just prior to 1967 when ARPA started building the ARPANET. About 20 years later, it was ready for the public to start using. They already had a functional internet for 20 years before the nobles and peasants were allowed to graze together in a new unified communication system. When people start understanding that they have been corralled into a digital prison where they live willingly in a case of massive Stockholm Syndrome, fake human interaction, social depravity, and worst of all, entitlement. Yes, you are fully entitled to do what you want and how you want to do it, no matter who you hurt, as long as you don't hurt the system, all will be forgiven. We are nearing the end of an era. Some of us have lifted our heads from our pillows and continue to spread the word. Others have also awoken and have used their knowledge for evil, or even worse, have done nothing at all to prevent further harm. I speak to the escapists out there. You may feel better with your head in the sand, but with your ass sticking out, you are a target nonetheless. It is inaction and apathy that is the enemy's greatest weapon against us. This weapon permeates through all realities and all environments, virtual, corporeal, and spiritual. The spirit of mankind is being broken. It is being erased. It is being reprogrammed. It is being discontinued to make way for a new type of human, a loyal human, an obedient human, a consumptive human, whether downloaded into the matrix to fulfill a digital life or to fight for survival on terra firma itself. We still have the final word on whether or not we are discontinued. So wake up, people. Peace.